At Sudden Compass, we've developed our own practice to help companies use data. It came out of a need that we saw within organizations, which is that we saw companies investing tons of money in data and big data and technology and analytics and dashboards, and they were expecting that it would all sudden magically make their teams more customer centric and more innovative. And this is all in the name of let's be more innovative, let's move faster, let's make better decisions. But what we saw was this total paradox, which is that the more companies invested in big data technologies, like analytics and dashboards, the less they actually understood about their customer. So what this practice involves, practically speaking, it allows a cross-functional team of people who may not be data scientists to actually come together in a truly cross-functional way to gain data literacy for the kinds of data they're not used to. When we say data, we actually believe it's important that you it's encompassing a diversity of data sets from qualitative to quantitative. And so what this practice enables is that it, it says anyone can come together, literally anyone in the organization can come together in an easy way to do a sprint on how do you understand the customer better. And what it does is it forces everyone to actually have some touch point with the customer. You know, inside organizations now, for some reason, the people who talk to the customer the most are the people who are lowest on the organizational rung. And we really wanted to disrupt that because we believe that in order to build new digital you know, businesses, you have to have everyone have some kind of touch point with the customer. So the unlock sprint makes that super easy. It, it means you don't have to have any data background or special research background. Anyone can come together. And practically speaking, it's just four easy steps. The first step is, you are we asking the right business question? And how do we translate that business question to a human question? The second step is, how do we go acquire the data to go answer that question? So it could be qualitative or quantitative, depending on what sprint you're in, right? And then, how do we analyze that data? And the fourth most important part is, how do we act upon what we learned? So what the Unlock Sprint does is it operationalizes three things that we believe are critical for companies to do to become more customer-centric. The first is that it operationalizes the difference between discovery and optimization. And the reason why this is important is that oftentimes companies are asking really big discovery questions like how do we enter into this new market or how do we acquire these new set of customers but the way they go about answering that big discovery level question is through optimization level methods like doing a b testing or focus groups so they're using the wrong methods for the wrong questions at the wrong time the second point that the practice operationalizes is that it integrates qualitative and quantitative data. So this is incredibly important because we, what we've seen in organizations for the push to be more data driven is that they've ended up deprioritizing and devaluing qualitative data, any of that human input. And we believe it is critical, it is imperative to integrate the qualitative to make the quantitative data useful. Because quantitative data is amazing. It gives you scale. It leverages machine intelligence. It can tell you a lot of what. But the minute you want to know, like, why does that, why does that statistic say this? Why are these numbers showing up? You have to go back to the qualitative data, which we call thick data. Uh, we rebranded qualitative data, thick data, to make big data sound just as sexy to data scientists and engineers who may deprioritize qualitative data and call that like small or useless data. The third thing that our practice operationalizes is that it brings decision makers closer to the customer. Our co-founder, Matt LeMay, who's written about this in his book, um, Agile for Everybody, when we implement Agile in organizations, is that the people who are closest to the customer are the ones that are most junior. And the people who are making decisions that affect the cu customer the most are the people sitting at the top. And so this is something that Matt has talked about a lot in his book. And this is why our practice really enforces and creates this environment where everybody can get close to the customer in a experimental, low risk, easy, fast way. It doesn't take months. It could just take literally a lunch. You can run your sprint within two hours. So for the first time ever, we are open sourcing some of our materials, such as the, our integrated data thinking framework that unifies qualitative and quantitative methodology into a question-led uh, process. And we are putting up our materials on the Google Design Sprint site. We believe that we're we will all do better if we can create a movement. And the movement is to figure out how do we empower humans in a data-driven world. And if we can all do that together, then I think it will make all of our work better and stronger. Mm -hmm.